Cycling competition is back in St. Louis. The first races of the Gateway Cup are underway right now, and the Tour de Lafayette is the first stop. Tracy Henson stopped by the finish line to see what's new this year. This is one of the biggest professional cycling events in the United States. You heard that right. Cycling in St. Louis is a big deal. This is going to be probably the the best collection of elite cyclists in the U.S. at the end of the summer. It's that end of summer part that can be a pain. There's always a storm plan. It is St. Louis after all. This race in particular at Lafayette, for some reason, we've had a number of really bad storms. The race goes on unless there's lightning. What happens if it rains? And I look at them and say, yeah, get wet. You know, once you're wet, you're wet. So keep racing. There is a big incentive to keep racing. The Bomberito Gateway Cup is the final of an eight race series that has over half a million dollars in prize money. Our event is for the final purse of $100,000, uh, split equally amongst men and women, and then the, uh, the Gateway Cup itself has a $50,000 purse. The first race of the series is in Lafayette. Then it moves to Francis Park for Saturday, the Hill on Sunday, and a new spot on Monday. Old Town Florissant will be on the second. Uh, just right on St. Francois, they call it St. Francis Street, St. Francois Street if you're yeah. a cyclist, right? For the last lap of the weekend, the bell will ring in Florissant. Tracy Henson, five on your side.